In a world defined by competition, change, and complexity, strategy remains our most potent tool for success. Sun Tzu, a legendary Chinese military strategist, understood this profound truth over two millennia ago. He penned down his wisdom in The Art of War, a treatise that has since transcended its original military context to offer guidance in various spheres of life. From boardrooms to sports fields and from personal endeavors to political campaigns, Sun Tzu's principles echo with clarity and relevance. While often associated with the dynamics of warfare, the heart of Sun Tzu's teachings lies in the art of strategic thinking itself, a discipline that, when mastered, can be the difference between success and failure in almost any domain. Join us as we delve into the timeless insights of this ancient text and discover how its teachings can be applied to the myriad challenges and opportunities we face today. As we venture into the heart of ancient China, we find a land in constant flux, rife with power struggles, battles, and shifting allegiances. Amidst this tumultuous landscape, a figure of profound insight and wisdom emerges. Sun Tzu, born in a period characterized by endless warfare, Sun Tzu was not just a product of his time, but a beacon that shone brightly through its challenges. His life, defined by the ceaseless conflicts around him, provided him with unparalleled opportunities for observation and reflection. Here was a man who was embedded in an environment that would have broken the will of many. Instead of becoming a victim of his circumstances, Sun Tzu channeled his experiences into a deep understanding of strategy, human behavior, and the subtle nuances of power dynamics. His writings weren't just about military tactics. They transcended the battlefield. They were about life's strategies, the art of decision-making, and the intricate dance of cause and effect. As we delve further into the essence of Sun Tzu's teachings, understanding the crucible that molded his philosophies becomes paramount. Through this lens, we appreciate not just the strategist, but also the man behind the strategy, the conditions that birthed his genius, and the timeless wisdom he bequeathed to generations to come. Diving deep into Sun Tzu's profound wisdom, we encounter a quintet of guiding principles. These aren't just random insights. They are the backbone of every strategic endeavor, ensuring victory in diverse scenarios, from military campaigns to personal challenges. Sun Tzu's quintessential elements aren't confined to the annals of ancient battles. They resonate powerfully even today, echoing the need to adapt, analyze, and act with precision. These factors are not just about winning wars. They're about navigating the myriad battles we face daily, be it in our careers, relationships, or personal growth. By internalizing and mastering these principles, we gain an edge, equipping ourselves to make informed choices and maximize outcomes in an unpredictable world. As we delve into each of these factors, we'll unearth the layers of understanding they offer, drawing parallels with modern contexts and highlighting their enduring significance. Sun Tzu's military genius wasn't solely in his ability to command armies, but also in his profound understanding of the landscapes they traversed. To him, the terrain wasn't just a passive backdrop. It was an active participant in the theater of war. The mountains, rivers, forests, and plains each carried their strategic nuances. In today's context, the concept extends beyond geographical landscapes. Our terrain is the amalgamation of our life circumstances, challenges, and opportunities. Just as a general surveys the battlefield, we must assess our personal and professional environments, identifying potential advantages and pitfalls. It's not enough to simply know where we stand. The true art lies in leveraging our understanding of the environment. Whether it's in business negotiations, interpersonal relationships, or personal growth, recognizing the subtleties of our surroundings can be our most potent asset. As we dive deeper into Sun Tzu's teachings, we'll explore how a nuanced understanding of our terrain can be the game changer, turning potential challenges into pathways for success. By merging ancient wisdom with modern interpretation, we gain tools to navigate our unique journeys more adeptly. Sun Tzu's strategy wasn't fixed in rigidity, but rooted in fluid adaptability. Be like water he suggested, emphasizing that success is often found not in resistance, but in flowing with, around, or through obstacles. For Sun Tzu, a general's true prowess lay not in adhering strictly to plans, but in the ability to adjust them based on the changing realities of the battlefield. In our contemporary landscape, 
This principle rings even truer. In an era defined by its rapid pace, digital revolutions, and unpredictable shifts, clinging to a rigid strategy can spell obsolescence. Instead, we must cultivate the ability to pivot, recalibrate, and reimagine our paths based on new information. But how do we maintain our core objectives while being adaptable? The answer lies in understanding that flexibility isn't about abandoning our goals, but about finding alternate routes to reach them. By imbibing Sun Tzu's wisdom, we learn that the true essence of strategy is not in the route taken, but in reaching the destination, irrespective of the twists and turns. As we proceed, we'll delve into practical insights to infuse this ancient wisdom into our modern lives, ensuring we're not just reactive, but proactive in our adaptability. Sun Tzu famously stated, All warfare is based on deception. He believed in the potency of the unexpected, using it as a tactical advantage. By mastering the art of illusion and creating unpredictability, one can keep opponents or competitors perpetually off balance, ensuring they react rather than act. In today's world, this concept transcends the battlefield. It enters boardrooms, marketplaces, and even personal endeavors. Think about the businesses that have disrupted industries overnight. They didn't achieve success by merely following the trends. They set them, creating waves of surprise that left competitors scrambling. However, embracing deception and surprise doesn't imply deceit or dishonesty. Instead, it's about presenting the unexpected, thinking outside the box, and innovating ahead of the mainstream. This could mean launching a product that caters to an unmet need or adopting an unconventional marketing strategy. Sun Tzu's wisdom here encourages us to constantly challenge the status quo. By embracing the unexpected and being the disruptor rather than the disrupted, we ensure that we remain not just in the game, but ahead of it. As we delve deeper, we'll examine contemporary examples that embody this timeless strategy, showcasing the power of the unexpected advantage in various realms of life. Sun Tzu's wisdom extends beyond mere tactics. It delves into the very essence of action. He wrote, Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow, decision to the releasing of a trigger. His philosophy revolves around harnessing one's energy in a deliberate manner and releasing it with purpose. In the vast expanse of life's battles, maintaining momentum can be the difference between victory and defeat. Sun Tzu believed in the principle of directing one's forces where they're most impactful, akin to water finding the path of least resistance, yet exerting formidable power. It's not merely about having energy, but channeling it in the most effective directions. Today, we live in an era characterized by constant distractions and numerous demands. It's easy to scatter our energies and lose focus. However, the art lies in accumulating our efforts, building momentum, and ensuring that every action we take builds upon the last, creating a cascading effect towards our goals. Think of startups that scale rapidly, athletes that break records, or artists who produce masterpiece after masterpiece. They don't just work hard, they work with precision, constantly building on their energy. Their momentum becomes an unstoppable force propelling them forward. As we journey ahead, we'll break down how you can apply Sun Tzu's profound teachings about energy and momentum in your personal and professional life, turning every challenge into an opportunity and ensuring that every step you take is a leap forward. Know yourself and you will win all battles, Sun Tzu once declared. This axiom didn't merely refer to recognizing one's advantages, but also emphasized the importance of introspection and understanding one's vulnerabilities. For Sun Tzu, strategy was not just about external conquests, but internal mastery. Every great strategist understands that strength does not exist without acknowledgement of weakness. It's a yin and yang concept. They are two sides of the same coin. To Sun Tzu, the battlefield was a mirror reflecting both the brightest and the darkest parts of a commander's psyche. In our modern era, this philosophy translates seamlessly to both personal development and professional growth. In boardrooms, understanding a company's strengths can position it uniquely in the market, while recognizing its weaknesses can ward off potential threats. On a personal level, self-awareness allows individuals to build upon their innate talents while also addressing areas of improvement. However, Sun Tzu's genius lies in the nuanced approach he advocated for. It wasn't merely about knowing strengths and weaknesses, 
but also about how to leverage them in strategy. A perceived weakness, when recognized, could be turned into a trap for an overconfident enemy. Similarly, a strength, if overestimated, could lead to hubris and eventual downfall. In the chapters ahead, we'll dive deeper into the transformative power of self-awareness. We'll understand how true strategic mastery, as envisioned by Sun Tzu, is not just about outmaneuvering adversaries, but also about constantly evolving oneself. Because, in the grand game of strategy, the most profound victories are those achieved over oneself. Sun Tzu once proclaimed, He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot, will be victorious. This profound insight offers a deeper understanding of conflict from a perspective rarely explored. For Sun Tzu, warfare wasn't merely about direct confrontations, but understanding the nuances of when to engage and when to strategically step back. In The Art of War, Sun Tzu frequently speaks about the wise general being one who wins without fighting. It's a testament to the idea that true victory is not in the overt display of power, but in the discernment of when to harness it. A battle avoided in many instances can be a battle won. In today's intricate web of personal, professional, and societal relationships, this ancient wisdom holds unparalleled relevance. Whether it's a corporate negotiation, a family disagreement, or even an internal struggle, the principle remains. Understanding the landscape of the conflict and assessing if direct confrontation will lead to the desired outcome. Sometimes the most profound strength is shown in restraint and calculated withdrawal. For instance, in business negotiations, understanding the nuances of the situation and recognizing when pushing too hard could backfire can be the difference between securing a deal or walking away empty-handed. Similarly, in personal relationships, choosing not to engage in every disagreement but rather picking battles that matter ensures the preservation of harmony. However, it's crucial to understand that Sun Tzu's advocacy for strategic withdrawal wasn't a call for perpetual avoidance. It was about discerning the right moments to act and the right moments to pause. As we venture further into Sun Tzu's strategies, we will uncover how the ancient wisdom of the art of war teaches us not just about external conflicts, but also about the inner battles we wage daily. The art of choosing our battles is as relevant today as it was millennia ago, guiding us towards strategic harmony in a chaotic world. One of Sun Tzu's most paradoxical yet profound teachings lies in the concept of strategic inaction. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting, he wrote. This statement is a testament to the idea that sometimes the most potent strategy is to have no apparent strategy at all, allowing circumstances to unfold naturally. In the vast tapestry of the art of war, Sun Tzu often underlines the virtue of patience, highlighting that true mastery comes not from being always active, but understanding the rhythm of when to move and when to be still. Much like a grandmaster in chess who waits for an opponent to make a move, recognizing that sometimes it's more potent to react than to act. This principle is not about passive surrender, but about deliberate restraint. It's a strategic pause, a calculated waiting that is often underscored by acute observation and understanding. In our modern era, where action is often equated with productivity and value, Sun Tzu's philosophy challenges this narrative. It invites us to consider that sometimes, by not intervening, by letting things take their natural course, we can achieve outcomes that are far more favorable than if we had actively steered events. For instance, consider a business leader faced with market volatility. Instead of reacting impulsively, they choose to observe, to hold back, allowing competitors to show their cards first. This restraint can offer clearer insights into the market, ensuring that when the time to act does arrive, the actions are well-informed and deliberate. Similarly, in interpersonal dynamics, there are moments when stepping back and allowing the other person to express, to vent, or to reflect can pave the way for more profound understanding and resolution. It's about creating space for organic evolution. Sun Tzu's strategy of no strategy is a timeless reminder of the power held in restraint, patience, and observation. As we delve deeper into the myriad layers of strategic thought, this philosophy prompts us to reflect on our impulses and to recognize that sometimes the most strategic move is to stay still watch, and wait. In a world that has evolved so much since Sun Tzu penned his legendary treatise, one might wonder about the lasting power of his teachings. 
The landscapes have changed, from the battlefields of ancient China to the digital arenas and corporate boardrooms of today. Yet at its core, Sun Tzu's The Art of War was never just about warfare. It was, and remains, a profound exploration of strategy, human behavior, and the nuanced dance between conflict and resolution. The genius of Sun Tzu lies not just in his specific advisories, but in the universal principles he unveiled. Whether it's the importance of self-awareness, the value of adaptability, or the need for keen observation, his wisdom transcends time, offering insights as relevant today as they were millennia ago. In our modern lives, amidst rapid technological advancements and ever-shifting global dynamics, we face challenges that Sun Tzu could never have envisioned. Yet his counsel remains eerily apt, providing us with tools to navigate the unpredictable terrains of our personal and professional lives. As we conclude this exploration, it's evident that Sun Tzu's legacy isn't merely historical. It is alive, pulsating in every strategic decision, every mindful pause, every calculated risk we take. In understanding Sun Tzu, we are reminded of the age-old truth, that while times change, the essence of strategy, human nature, and the quest for mastery remain constants. So, as we step forth, may we carry Sun Tzu's insights as a guiding light, an eternal testament to the art and science of strategy. Through him, we are invited to view life not just as a series of random events, but as a canvas for strategic artistry, where every move, every decision, is a stroke that shapes our destiny.